Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gratuitous from BeatStruggles.com. Uh, recently, I released uh, the video on, you know, how to organize your VSTs with, like, the plugin database and stuff like that. You know, when you have, like, your, your generators all organized and you have your effects all organized and stuff. Anyway, so I posted this on the ImageLine forums, just kind of sharing it with people. I thought it would help people out. And someone left a comment about, don't forget to organize your folders. And I was, you know, I didn't really know what they were what they were saying but i saw that they also attached a video and um what they showed in their video was allowing you to kind of create an extra folder up here to create you know it's kind of like a shortcut to let's like your drum kit folder or something like that and in their video um there was no talking and stuff so it was kind of hard to follow like i had to watch it over a couple times to really see everything that they did so I just want to show you guys how to set this up so that you guys can get an extra folder here because originally uh, FL Studio comes with just these three. What you're going to do is you're going to click up here and you can see you have a couple different snaps. Uh, as you can see, number four with the folder is this one here. Okay, so you're going to click snap five and you're going to see everything is in here. If you have like a special folder where like you always access like your drums out of, you want to add that into FL Studio. You can do that either by simply dragging the folder into the browser here and just dropping and dragging letting it go in or you can um, come up here to file settings inside file you're going to click uh, here and just on my desktop i just have um, a folder with a whole bunch of uh, personal sounds or whatever just click ok it adds in there and you're going to see it it instantly adds it into here um, now all you have to do is come up here click the arrow you're going to click show only open folders but don't click that yet you're going to want to actually open up a folder first. Otherwise, you're going to end up with this. You have nothing, or I guess the current project. But So I'm going to remove that. Okay, so we're going to actually click personal, okay? Come up here. You're going to click the arrow. You're going to go show only open folders. And now when you go to snap five, you're going to see this. This is how I used to actually access like my drums before. But from watching that video, it was actually a really cool tip. So. How you do this is you can uh, push in your middle scroll wheel, uh, a label pops up. Let's just like label it like personal. You can come here and kind of give it a color, just whatever, we'll give it that green again and I'll hit enter. Now you'll also see it's like, well, you have given it a label, you've given it a color, but you're gonna see that it, there's no label here. So all you have to do is push in the middle scroll wheel again. You're gonna see this arrow, click that. And all you have to do is just give it an icon. So whatever you want it to be, let's say like, uh, the musical note okay so hit enter and it adds it up there so the whole trick to it is just adding in an icon and then you can even give it a different color so that when you hover over it or when you're actually active on it then it's that color also if you guys don't have a middle scroll wheel on your mouse you guys can just select like the snap or whatever uh come down here and go rename slash color and this will pop up and then you can choose like your icon uh give it a color all that kind of stuff um and also uh something i also like to do too is I will like to go uh, click the arrow and go show only one folder content. So in addition to the show only open folders, so like let's say you open up, let's say exclusive audio, then you go organic drum kit. But now if I would open survival drum kit, organic drum kit closes for me. Okay, so it closed. So like, let's go with kicks. So if I click kicks in here, but then I go um, sounds in HD, you see that it closes. And it's just really helpful for like workflow and stuff like that. And then if I come back to exclusive audio, you'll see that kicks is still open. That's just a like personal preference. So I just wanted to uh, make this video, share that because um, his name is Clint on ImageLine forums. Um, super, super cool tip. But again, I found the video kind of a little hard to, to follow and I thought it was a super, super useful tip. So, you know, um, that's how you set this up and hopefully you enjoy.